All right, this is Ruben Lowe and it's McAllen, Texas. It's Friday night. All right, I'm going to talk a little bit of my leadership here about why I do this business. I was listening to um, Miles Monroe uh, talking about if what you do isn't congruent with your life's purpose, um, it's not gonna, you're not going to be successful. And so I've been struggling with that, um, you know, finding my purpose. And I've been thinking through it, you know, and I'm, I was... I'm a protector, okay, and it came from a lot of uh, family abuse when I was very young. Um, my dad would, was very abusive to my mom, and I would step in and and fight my dad off my mom. And, and, uh, and when, we, when we would play fight after that, um, I wouldn't be playing. <laughs> I'd be four or five years old trying to take my old man out, and it caused me to have an aggressive nature. And then I, I started boxing after what well, my mom married my stepdad when I was seven and uh, I'm little and he was uh, with construction had his construction buddies over and one of them decided he was going to teach me the fine art of pugilism and that encouraged my mother she got a, you know, a speed bag for Christmas and I hit that every night until I was 16 and uh, when I was 15 um, my stepdad and I got into it and I got a beat down um, pretty severe. I was taken away and put to foster home. The whole side of my head was black and blue and swollen. And it changed my um, intensity in, in my workouts and uh, my seriousness about boxing. That's why I joined the Navy. Um, <laughs> and, you know, God put me in the same gym as Roy Jones Jr. and Roy Jones Sr. And I joined the SEAL team because I wanted to box. And, uh, you know, and, and the, what I see, you know, I can't beat everybody up, okay? And uh, can't, can't beat up all the bad guys. And, uh, but what I can do, and something I've, I've learned, I was a trainer uh, in the military. Uh, I achieved the level of master training specialist. First off, started teaching teaching boxing and physical fitness and and shooting and then skydiving and and um, you know, parachuting, air operations and um, the uh, so I know how to train. I know how to teach and I, I know how to read my people and and talk to them the way they need to be talked to so they can understand and learn and and do. And I see this mission of financial literacy as that mission. There's nothing like it. It's something else teaching a young boy how to be able to hit the heavy bag right and, and be able to, to defend himself and, and be confident up against somebody else. But it's something else to see a grown man and a family um, you know, start to see progression financially and see get themselves out of a hole and um, and that's that's something else too is that there's so many families that are that fracture because of finances and and, and being there and, and knowing how that works is getting together on the same page not just so the wife knows the wife and the husband together know where the money's going but they have a plan together and that is something that's very important to me and when I'm talking to families I make sure that they both you know we're on both of both of them are on the same page with their finances and that's part of my mission right and there's nothing like it when you know when you see those young kids in that family and their their parents start to have hope it, it bleeds over on the kids it's significant so that is the best way that I know of to be a protector and uh, I can I can do is you know I can reach a lot of people and have a major impact doing this teaching financial literacy that's why I do it all right have a great Friday